Are you looking to supercharge your estimating process? I'm Ron Rams and I'm a DYB coach, also a painting contractor here in Northern Massachusetts. This is our supercharged gasoline. Pretty cool, huh? It's a glidden gas pump. It actually is an AM FM radio. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't work. Anyways, estimate process. We all have an old, boring estimate process that we used years ago. You gotta see behind me, the black is the estimate process, and then the blue line items, we're gonna go over the additional things that we do on every single estimate that makes us stand out from the rest. And the reason for this is I want someone to experience something they haven't experienced before. Also, when they're at a cookout or a party or talking about their friends and work being done on the house, they're going to say, yeah, this happened. I don't know. I haven't heard from him. I want them to let them know what we're doing and how often we're in contact with them and all the extras that we offer. That is not even, we haven't even got to the job yet and we're giving them extras. So anyways, we're going to start off, like I said, the black is the normal process that most people use. We do that plus the blue line items, which I'll explain in detail are the things that we do. So right here we have, you know, we have a past customer, we have Google searches, we have networking events, we have trucks and signs and all the other things. So they found us. Then they're going to look online and they we give them the opportunity to book their own estimate uh, through a calendar that's online through You Can Book Me. Uh, great tool. It's free if you want the free version. If you want to pay, uh, it's a few dollars a month. Um, well, well worth it. You link it with your calendar. You block out times you don't want to uh, to book. Um, estimates on and then the rest is opened up for them so then you can uh, actually modify questions so you can actually already go through and get all that important information before they you actually go to the house so we have that information they either booked online or they placed a phone call and we went over a, uh, a time that works for both of us so right then and there this is the first blue line this is when we send them a video this is video says what to expect during your painting estimate. And it's a YouTube, you can actually find it at Ramsden Painting on the YouTube if you Google us. Uh, basically me sitting in my dining room, living room, and explaining to what to expect. It's about three, four, five minutes long. And one of the questions we ask is, what is a great ex painting experience? Look to them. And some people, they don't know what to answer. Other people say, I hate dust around my house. I don't want my cat out, my dog out. Uh, and, and different things like that. So, or they want to know, they don't want to use in the bathroom or something like that. But I want to know that when I show up, I don't want to surprise them. So it also walks through what them to expect, how I'm going to measure what they should do. I'm going to take my shoes off on and on and on. So that's the first time we, we touch base. We haven't even got to them and we sent them some value. So, and then, okay. And then we show up at the estimate and uh, we try to write and book the estimate and sell it on the spot. And by doing this, we also have video testimonials, which will get to the end of our process to show them how great people think we are. So uh, that's one way that we do it. If we don't book the job and sell the job on, this, on the spot while we're doing the proposal, we have a follow-up. So a follow-up anyways, even if we did, we'd have a certain follow-up. But anyways, we always go out and we send them a thank you card. This is a personalized thank you card right after the right after the meeting to thank them, a little personal note, you know, we really appreciate the time you spent with us, your dog is a, a cute dog, whatever you wanna do, uh, your house is beautiful, very nice to meet you, uh, look forward to working with you in the future. And then we also, if they've brought up something that's a concern to them, if you have blogs written about that subject, include it in an email. Hey, there's a couple uh, articles I've written in the past I thought you would find helpful, because you were talking about dust or, or what sheen of paint to use on certain things or what we should do with a, a, a trim conversion from stain to paint. This is the process that I explained it, but it's in, you know, it's in writing for you. So that's more value that we're sending them. Uh, thank you card, what painters send thank you cards or who sends a thank you card these days. And then of course the blogs. Then we follow up, you know, we're still looking to book this job if we haven't booked it anyways and we're gonna call, uh, we're gonna email them however we have to do to follow up. So down here, you're gonna see we booked it. Okay, you sold it on paper and you have a deposit. Walk around to this side of the board. So here we are. So we're gonna send them an email once it's booked and we have it, it's written in our, our schedule. We're gonna email them over 
an introduction to the crew leader so they know what crew leader is going to be on the job because I'm not there. I might stop by the job and I let them know that I am not the one who's going to be painting because sometimes they expect that. I showed up at the estimate and I should show up with a paintbrush. I introduce my crew leader and, what, and who he is and his experience and so they know who he is. And they're not surprised when this guy knocks on the door at 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning to introduce themselves. So then we invite them to base camp. Uh, this is probably about 75% of our customers uh, really want to know what's going on. So what we do is we uh, base camp is a project software where we can load up our work orders, we can load up colors, we can load up special pictures and all kinds of communication stays in one thing and then we archive it. We also put their colors in there. Uh, so a year from down the road from now, if we need a color touch up or something like that, we're able to go back and get those colors. So here we are, we invite them to base camp and we invite them to certain sections of base camp that they might um, need access to. One of those is their colors. They have to put the colors in, they get an email to remind them that we need colors a week before the job is ready to start. If they're having a problem with colors, we then invite a color person in to help them with the selection of colors. This is an added value that we give to anybody booking more than three rooms of uh, work with us. Uh, we pay Sherwin-Williams for that. We also have a, a separate color as associate who can help us if we're not using Sherwin-Williams paints. Uh, and we pay for that out of the proceeds of the, of the job. So added value, added value, added. So right now three, just after we sold the job, we have three things that we've added value. So then we send them a video of what to expect when the job started. And it basically walks through is that we're gonna need a section to put our tools, a little work area. Uh, for them to move the valuables and, the, and also the delicates off certain things. Uh, if they're supposed to take down drapes and things like that, those have to be removed. If they have nails in the wall that they want to stay where they are, we ask them to put a piece of tape on that. If that everything else is going to be assumed, it's going to be taking off. So that's another added value. Videos. Customers love videos. So, okay, now we, we completed the job. That's normal as every estimate. Then, a lot of times you collect the check and you run to the bank. Well, that's where it just started because we want this customer for life. So, so then we're going to give them a thank you gift. Uh, as in the DYB group, you see a lot of them have their custom paint cans uh, with uh, fresh cookies inside, custom cookies. I actually give apple pies. Uh, a good friend of mine uh, bakes a lot of apple pies. They have a company. We give a lot of fresh baked apple pies and we're able to give that as a gift and who doesn't like an apple pie? So anyways, and then we, after we give them the apple pie, we request a video testimonial. Uh, and we only ask the three questions for on the video testimonial and see that's where the video testimonial comes into play when we're doing the estimate. So as these build up, you end up building more credibility, 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 so you have all those video estimates. So after the video estimate w is given, then we follow up, follow up, follow up. What does that mean? So okay, we wanna make sure a week after that everything is okay. You know, even though they did a walkthrough with the crew leader, we wanna make sure that that customer is 110% with us. They're gonna refer, refer, refer. So we're also going to remind them that they have free, free touch-ups on their job. We also then put them on a email drip. So at a certain time, they start getting emails. Of course, we friend them on Facebook. If, we, if, if they're on Facebook, which is uh, 1.9 billion people are on Facebook, so there's a good chance they're probably on Facebook. And then we also remind them at the year anniversary, we make sure we do send out cards, which I've shared on another video of mine. So anyways, this is our estimate process with all the little extras. So like I said, that's where my little gas my little gas advertising thing came into play. We supercharge our estimating process. So if you have any questions about this, you guys want to talk, you can catch me at ron at dybcoach.com. That would be great. I'd love to talk with you, answer any of your questions, or you can post them right here in the YouTube uh, video. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'm Ron. I'm a DYB coach, also painting contractor up here in northern Massachusetts. Thank you and have a great day.